<clears throat> hey guys, MGX for fun here with a, um, a spoiler thing uh, for Dragon's Maze. As you can see, all the guild gates are being reprinted and all the shocks are going to be reprinted. It's saying they're being reprinted. Yeah, all the shocks are going to be reprinted, all ten of them. Um, but the legendary land was spoiled called Maze's End. And um, it's a it's a mythic. Um, it enters the play tapped. You tap it at a a colorless your mana pool. <sighs> Sorry. And then you pay three, tap it, return it to your hand. Um, search a library for a gate, being one of the guild gates. Um, uh, put it into the battlefield, then shuffle your library. If you control ten or more gates, you win the game. Uh, ten or more gates with different names, sorry. So you pretty much this this card is gonna be completely useless in every format, I'm pretty sure. Um I suppose it could be good for casual, maybe not even then, because it's really, really slow. Um I don't really know. Um and then the newest one is Runic Thar the Unbowed. It's a legendary ogre uh, warrior. It's a 6-6 six, six for 6 with Vigilance and Reach. He attacks each turn of Abel and whenever uh, a player casts a non-creature spell, uh, Runic Thar deals 6 damage to that player. That's really, really good. Um, he's going to be a fun general to build around. Um, I'll probably explain more about that when I um, when it actually comes out and I get my hands on one. I have a feeling he is going to be worth... <sighs> he's going to be worth a decent amount of money. Um, so, apparently... The this this is one of the champions apparently. Um, there's going to be one for each guild, and they're all going to be legendary. So I can't wait to see the other ones. Um, I'm probably gonna put him in Animar. Gotta make space for him because he's definitely worth putting it in. Um, this one is actually still at Pax East, which is kind of cool. It seems like everybody goes to Pax East. I wish I could afford to go. But, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.